Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thomas the Train. You guys have been asking for this for like two years, and we've just ignored it for like two years. Can we do this or anything else? And we were like anything else for a while. Yeah, it's kind of a similar relationship to like B-movie where we just have not wanted to do it. But here we are. Yeah, well, I watched this movie when I was like, I don't know, four, five, six, something like that. I remember this movie being weird and cursed and awful. To be fair, it is about a sentient train and a magical railroad. I was not a train kid. I was like a Hot Wheels and video games kid. You don't have to rub in the fact that you were an alpha male as a six-year-old Jew. Okay, listen, I was both. I liked trains and Hot Wheels and video games. I don't know. Something about trains, I was really annoyed by the fact that they are stuck on a linear path all the time. And I was like, I can't have fun with this. Oh, but you can. You know why? Because trains can crash. I always liked roller coaster trains more. Roller coaster trains aren't good for public transit, though, Jude. Every time it loses momentum, it just keeps launching again and that's how you get to your destination. <laughs> it's like a two hour roller coaster ride. That would be amazing. Go through a loop and all your bags just fly out. All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, make sure you lick it. And make sure to hit that Sodor button. Let's get into this. Destination films. Yeah, that's where you go to after you die. The sun? Yeah, you go to the sun. Alec Baldwin, my favorite person. I entirely forgot that Alec Baldwin's in this movie. Maybe maybe we shouldn't do this. Yeah, has this aged well? Alec Baldwin himself hasn't aged well. Meet Thomas. He's our number one hero. Hello! Is this like stop motion? <laughs> I wish the motion would stop. Why doesn't he have eyes? Light his eyes better. Oh my God. <laughs> Does he blink ever? Or is the wind just going to go into his eye sockets and dry them out by the end of the movie? <laughs> that is clay and googly eyes. You cannot tell me otherwise. I like helping out here. By the invitation of Sir Topham Hat, of course. I, I have a hot take here. Okay. When trains like toot their horns in this universe, what are they doing? They're screaming. Well, no, because they have actual voices that are different from their whistles. So what are their whistle? Are, are they farting? Yes. It's just a bunch of gas escaping from a hole very quickly, so they're just farting at each other. <laughs> That's how they get each other's attention, is they just rip one. Hey, Jude. Seven. Practicing your numbers, Gordon. That's a good engine. I, I remember him. That's my boy, Gordon. They all look like those awful depictions of the moon with a face. <laughs> but on a train. Like the George Melier thing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sodor Railway. Really reliable and right on time. For real, they just only moved the eyes. They didn't like animate any of this. Yeah, no, no. The faces don't move. I take that back. The faces don't move, but they switch them out. Get out of my way! Why are you shaking like that? Gordon Pog. Gordon Pog, no. The blast from the past who hates steam engines. Racist. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, they kind of just hate diesel engines and diesel engines hate steam engines. There's like a race war going on in Thomas. At the other end of my universe, far away across oceans of time is my hometown. Oh, now he's talking about how the other dimension in the Thomas universe works. Yeah, the, didn't, didn't you know that Thomas is a multiverse? We went from like a toy set of trains to the multiverse in like three minutes of this movie. <laughs> yeah, it's a very magic railroad. Every now and then. Oh God, I forgot this was a musical! No! And by the way, I think that you're going to help me and Thomas somewhere in this story. I think you're going to help me and Thomas. I think you're going to. Help me, please. Get me out of this universe of train sets. I've been stuck in a model train for 50 years. <laughs> you weren't concentrating, Thomas. What are you doing in the sheds, James? Why do you sound like that? You weren't concentrating, Thomas. Who does that sound like? You've got a big tummy, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's big tummy. I was naughty and Sir Topham Hatt told me to think about all the ways I can be really useful. Uh, <laughs> you're a train. Oh, that didn't make that any better. Um, <laughs> I've come back to find a lost steam engine. What? I'm going to destroy her and dominate you. How are you going to get there? His feet are going to come out of the bottom and he's going to like walk over to the other tracks. Be like those cursed CGI animations that people keep making. I reckon Shining Time is the best welcome sign of any town in our valley. <laughs> Why is Shining Time so happy. No one is depressed in Shining Time. Absolutely not. All the depressed people get killed. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. <laughs> you get turned into a train and sent to Sodor. <laughs> Fine work, Patch. 
you used a train so you could get to your horse. This is Red Dead now. Yeah, why does this child own a horse? There's only two forms of transportation, trains and horses. Oh, we see cars later on, but you know. No, yeah, see, they're all, just, everything is horses. All the people are horses deep down. Yeah, exactly. There's a horse deep down inside of all of us. I didn't know that in Muffle Mountain, there was a secret that Burnett had shared only with his childhood friend, Tasha. I hate the narration of this movie because it's just explaining everything because the movie doesn't explain it for you by like having a story. That's the entirety of Thomas the Tank Engine as a show and all the movies. Yeah, because it's targeted towards like five-year-olds, which is why we're watching it right now. I think that's why I didn't like it as a kid. When it like told me what was going on, I like turned it off because I felt like I was being belittled. You can help me dust her off. This engine's name is Lady. Why do men name machines after women? It's very weird. That's because they're objects. I'm like, this is Batrice, my chainsaw. Batrice? Beatrice? It's like Requise, but way better. <laughs> Long ago, an evil diesel found Lady and threatened to destroy her. He chased her, used up all her coal. It's really hard to make trained violence interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you run until you use all your coal. And now this train is seeking asylum in the real world for some reason. Yeah, that's actually what's going on. Why is there a train civil war? What is going on? <laughs> Trainsformers. Did you say destroy? Like hurt? Yeah, destroy. Uh, Mr. Conductor's coming. I can do whatever I want. Why are the bad ones a Italian. Because they're part of the mafia, you know that trope? Yeah, you, you see that claw on top of it and can go... Shut <laughs> up. Well, hello, Mr. Conductor. Oh, hello, Billy. Is everyone just okay with this, like, mythical being just randomly teleporting around? They're in shining time. They're too happy to notice anything weird going on. I think he has a spell on all of them. I think he's actually a warlock. Sir Top Matt has given me a big responsibility. I want that dog to run in front of the tracks. I hate dogs in movies. Somebody make a mod for me in Madden where I can kick that dog. Do you understand how bad that sounds? Jude Howard, dog murderer. <laughs> I've literally advocated for murdering most of the characters in every movie we've watched recently, so. Okay, people. people's a different thing. Oh, sorry. My bad. Yeah, murdering people is very different from murdering dogs. Because murdering dogs isn't okay. I just don't seem to understand about how magic is. I just don't seem to understand about magic anymore. That is what that man just said. There's got to be like 19 red underlines in Microsoft Word when they wrote this. Did you mean anything else? Fragment, consider revising. This is where Burnett's granddaughter, Lily, comes into our story. Where are we now? This is Burnett's, Burnett's granddaughter, because I know who that is. Yeah, what does she have to do with anything? Especially as I'm a little child watching this, wanting to see like Thomas just drive for some no reason. This is uh, a big problem we've had in a few movies. Why is there a human side to this and who is supposed to care? Yeah, I hate the human side in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. Oh God, it's Toby! Number seven. <laughs> He's like a rectangle. What is he? <laughs> He's like a trolley. I hate him. Toby's right. Diesel knows that the lost engine in the legend really exists. That's my boy, Henry. Why do you know all of these names? Because it literally said it. Brent's got like an Excel spreadsheet up on his second monitor. <laughs> Don't expose my secrets, Jude. I'd like to have a nice cup of hot cocoa. Would you fellas care to join me? Are you on drugs right now? Yeah, he's in a make-believe land filled with sentient trains. This is all just an acid trip. <laughs> Twinkle toes. You can't catch me, Diesel. Okay, literally all you would have to do to avoid this is literally just walk away. He's on one track too, and it's the green screen. Yeah, the trains are confined by the tracks, and Alec Baldwin is confined by the green screen. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Conductor, without your sparkle or the lost engine, you can't travel here to help us anymore. You just go to sleep now. Bro, this sucks. And he's like, I'm gonna go to bed. He's like, go to sleep, Percy. It's like easy for you to say I'm a train. <laughs> Next morning, Mutt traveled with Billy to the big city station. Mutt was sure Lily could help her grandpa, and that together they could help me. Only if Lily met someone special at Shining Time first. What was any of that? I didn't... Uh, uh, who's where and why? So the dog went with Billy uh, to go find Lily. Who's Lily? They're at the big city station. Why? The narrator accidentally read all the screen directions. Yeah, I am genuinely confused as to what that man just said. I'm going to the windmill to search for something important. Well, now I've completely lost my sense of direction. Why do you not know where the windmill is? He's like, I'm going to go to the windmill that I don't know where it is. Yeah, why are you like walking through the woods to 
get to the windmill. They're either like in an open field or they have a path to them. And they're big and easy to spot. Smile, you steamers. It's a sunny day. Rum, rum. Is that a bus with a face on it as well? <laughs> yes. That's Birdie the bus. Why do you know that? It says it right there! <laughs> wow! Maybe read! Come on, don't you know that's Birdie the bus? Like... <laughs> Are you a fake Thomas fan? Don't know who Birdie the Bus is? <laughs> I think I remember me being with you. Okay, so now we're at the beach. What? Hello? Hey, yo, what's up, guys? All right, bye. I want my money back. You don't just show what just happened and then cut away. They have that is this entire movie. What do you mean? They're like, hey, look at this guy, anyways. What does that mean? How did the dog get there before she did? Fast. Shut up, Jude. How did he get there fast? No, you know how like when you travel a really far distance in Minecraft and then your wolf teleports to you? It's the same general idea. Wait, there's dogs in Minecraft? That reminds me of real life. Whoa, they added dogs from Minecraft in the real world? How does Mr. Conductor travel here by gold dust? Well, he talked about buffers in his sleep. Buffers are at the end of a railway. I'm sorry, you two. Diesel heard every word you said. Oh yeah, you'll stop him. You Minecraft chest of a train. <laughs> Where was Diesel and how did Toby figure all that out? Diesel was in his own little like barn and Toby is just like this omniscient train. Why does Diesel have a barn? Everybody hates Diesel. Just exile him. They literally gave him his own house so they'd leave him alone. <laughs> I love this song that's just like, he is the main character. Okay, so he's a useful engine that hauls passenger cars with no people in them. <laughs> well, he was delivering the mail last night. So why is he a passenger train? <laughs> Did you put all this here for me? You must have known that I was coming. Who? Remember, he said we'd help him in the beginning of the movie. Oh, he's talking to the audience? Yeah, we put those there for him to save him. I forgot this like breaks the fourth wall a lot. I think this is the only time it happens actually, which is worse. I, I think we broke Jude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Patch. I'm Lily. Morning, Patch. Good morning, Mr. Stone. Patch and Stone. Wow. Yeah, they just like found objects. Like, yep. My name is Embroidery. How about you? My name is a uh, Rubik's brand Rubik's Cube. You can just call me Rube. My name is Sandisk Extreme Plus 150 megabytes per second <laughs> SD card. Well, my family is usually pretty good getting themselves out of trouble eventually. I don't know what eventually means, but it sounds very, very long. <laughs> Congratulations, Thomas. You learned English. You know what that makes me think now? At first, the trains didn't know English. <laughs> and they were taught English? Well, they still but they still had faces and vocal cords and eyes and all that. Yeah, it's because before they were like, ooga booga. And <laughs> maybe, just maybe. Do trains have some sort of like native language? Ooh, was the island of Sodar colonized? No, you see what happened was trains lived there. They were the natives. So like the railroad and everything was already there. And then Sir Top hat happened upon the island of Sodor. And that's what colonization is. Yeah, and then decided that the best thing to do would be to stay there and help them learn our culture. There's <laughs> the option this is post-human apocalypse and the, this is the train civilization. Go watch our Cars video. <laughs> Thomas says I'm brave, so I'm brave. Oh no, all the leaves came off the trees in the last two minutes. They were scared and ran away. <gasps> Howdy, partner. Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me. Oh, that's just nothing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. A tumbleweed that apologizes when it rolls past? That's the funniest. Yeah, that, that, that's actually, that, that's really, that's a really good idea. Yeah, it's a funny joke, but then it got wasted in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. <laughs> I also find it funny that that's the only time there's been any sentient organic life in this movie. Mr. Conductor, I was supposed to be back by sunset. You know, Lily, perhaps your grandpa can guess where you are. She can whistle. Yeah. This man is just uncomfortably intimate with this train. I hate it so much. This is like Monster House. His wife is the ashes in the coal of that train. How did you draw a parallel between this movie and Monster House? Will you please take Lily? Through the buffers? But what if I go on the railway and my wheels don't work? But what if they do? How will I get back again? Because you're a really useful engine and we'll find a way. How will I get back? I don't know the linear track that you follow to get there. <laughs> you can't really get lost. It's really hard to get lost as a train. <laughs> There's 
the missing coal truck. Stoke up the magic in the mountain. That's part of Mr. Conductor's clue to his gold dust. That's what you do with coal. Stoke it up to make steam. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, how many more things are you going to explain to me? <laughs> you see, coal is an ore. <laughs> Drive off the mountain right now. No, she's just gonna leave him there on the mountain. I must find Grandpa. Ooh, fuck my oh, yeah, he does. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Thomas fell off for real. Uh, oh my god, this movie really derailed. <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. Is looking at a train blueprint like looking at nudes? For this man? Yes. Let me see them schematics. Say less. Actually say more. This is the lost engine from long ago. Now we can go back to the island and bring Mr. Conductor and Junior home. We know. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Try all the different coals in the valley. What? Is there more than one coal? It's all coal. You gotta try the clean, clean coal. coal. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Punched my desk and my webcam fell off. Wait, does this coal magically work now? I thought the coal didn't work. No, oh, that, that's, the, that's the special Sodor coal. Where did they get it from? Thomas brought the coal truck with him. And when they went through the portal, he lost the coal truck, but it was still at the top of the mountain. Then he fell off the mountain. And now he's back in Sodor, question mark. Did Sony write this movie? Because there's like nine plot lines and I can't keep up with any of them. You found her and she's beautiful. Look where you're going. This looks like when you turn the HDR slider all the way up in front of the mm. Also, look where you're going. It's on tracks, Brendan. No, shut up. I want her to look where she's going. You gotta make sure you're on the right track. Yeah, what if you hit somebody that's tied up there? Wait, okay, hold on. So Matilda there just like blew ladies horn for her. Is that like pulling their finger, making them fart? Yeah. I had to fit another fart joke in there somewhere. So little is happening that's relevant with this movie that we've resorted to just like, is that like a fart? That has been my entire bit this whole movie. It's because there's nothing to talk about. I'm gonna print out a picture of the cover for this movie when I go to the gun range today. <laughs> Now we're going to go on a chase scene, you know. Yeah, with trains. They're on tracks. Well done, Thomas. Well done. Well done. You drove over the bridge <laughs> and it happened to fall apart. Pull yourself up. Come on, you won't. Okay, you really won't. Oh, okay, he doesn't. He didn't die. Oh, we couldn't have a death in this movie. See, the lesson of this movie is when you don't like someone, push them off a bridge, and if they don't die, that's good. What about the two major plot points of this movie had no progression until the last five minutes somehow? Yeah, exactly. This entire movie was like, hey, look, trains. Anyway, oh yeah, there's a story. And then we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here, and here's a new character. Please tell me what Diz why Diesel didn't want the guy to have dust. Because he hates steam engines. Okay, so that had something to do with this man that travels with dust. Yeah. He wanted to stop them from having dust and they had to go find a different train so that it wouldn't do anything and then they had a bag that did everything that they could have just found from the beginning. I don't think the extra characters that were cut out of this movie would have helped at all. <laughs> I really, really don't know what this movie is about. Trains. I could use like the iPhone keyboards autocomplete to write a more coherent script. <laughs> I remember watching this a couple times when I was little. I was like addicted to Thomas. It was weird. Yeah, I've seen it a few times as well. I don't know if you had the same experience, but you know when the conductor is being held over the bridge? Yeah. I thought that was the end of the movie when I watched it. I thought so too. As I remembered it, that was the end of the movie, but no, it's halfway through and I just forgot the rest of the movie. I'm gonna I'm be honest with you. Watching this movie, I thought it was gonna end like basically all the time past like the 20 minute mark. I'm like, okay, is this over now? I, I could go the rest of my life without watching this movie, and I probably will. Yeah, except when you edit the video, get trolled. Yeah, well. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a lick on it. Definitely be sure to hit that Sodor button, like I said earlier. If you want to go somewhere better than Sword Sodor, our link tree has a bunch of different places on it, like our merch store, Twitter, Instagram. Sordor. It's like Mordor, but trains. Yeah, and if you enjoyed this video, uh, maybe check out our Cars 2 video we did like a year ago. Oh, we have planes, trains, and automobiles now. Make that a playlist. Have a day. Hey, camera focus, camera focus. Look, hey, look, look, look at my, look at my Eminem, look at my tumor Eminem. It's like, it's like a, it's an Eminem with a tumor. Look at it. Look how weird that is. What is that?